everyone, this is our summer camp and we are reviewing this week's ski draw, the band, do 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 yes, yes, yes. So students, I expect from you only good behavior because I'm very, very serious teacher. Now I figure out that because you're afraid of commitment, you have a girlfriend, not a wife. And I can call them and say, they, you, you, you know, participant of this class. Yes. So students, we're trying to explore more not popular songs. It's not a reason to not review and not listen, not explore them because it's just a fair world. You can measure success with the numbers, but it's not a sign of goodness, you know. There is a Kardashians, you know how many numbers they have. So the song that we're gonna review today called Breaking Down, it's from the album Subhuman Race from 1995. And this album didn't got that success, unfortunately, but I think it's actually a nice album. It just present a different sound of Skid Draw. So let's listen and no complain because if we're gonna complain, I gonna just we're not just not gonna have a deal, I'll show you how I succeed in the gym. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yes, I'm a strong teacher and very terrifying. Okay, listen. Yes. Noticing that 90s very strongly in the sound here. Sebastian playing with the words got the feeling of U2, the band U2. I don't want to compare them at all, but just vibe that U2 usually produce with that speedy drums but extended melody. <laughs> that have a formula. You like a college kid, you have a troubles, then you met somebody, then you like fall in love, then first like big fight, they playing the song and showing you how this character experiencing this 
spouse in the relationship and I feel this song could be a very good match for this kind of moment. Sound gradient, they go slowly into the silence, but they don't show the ending point. Yes, it's like some tricks and techniques in the music. You know, guys, this song makes me feel deeply my past. 90s was very sad, unhappy, painful time for me. It was my childhood. Most of the time, I think I felt something from what I would like to run away. And then teenage years came. The sad songs is what we're listening usually because it's heartbreaks, challenges, adaptation, growing into adulthood through all these traumatic experiences. When we talk about love and relationship, I would separate people on two types. The first type, it's uh, people who get heartbroken, they close in their heart, they are afraid of doing this again. They protective, defensive, they don't want to open themselves to feel love because they are afraid to experience that pain again. And I'm absolutely opposite type. I'm that type who always open to that. I'm always wanted to seek it as soon as possible. Yes, your teacher is like that. Somehow I never was afraid of got hurt because the feeling that you're actually experiencing is wonderful. It's let you explore, experience. Yes, there is a lot of drama and drama drama but what if not low could give us a chance to process something and grow experience all kinds of emotions it's way better even though partially it can be harmful it's more beneficial in the big picture and so the sound of this song like evoking a bittersweet memories fragments when it's mostly pain in fact but because you already overcame it it's showing you little nostalgic sweet memories anyway this song i think has something wonderful transferring me into like 20 years ago again you know that repeating is the mother of the learning yes that's why i'm gonna try again to, to convince you that we need to listen another type of songs not popular you like this satin in life you like this monkey business you like this in the darkened room and quicksand is a system far away without you <laughs> I just adore to sing this song like I don't know how to sing. A quick sand Jesus is the far away without you.
Take me away. <laughs> Oops, and the neighbors. Yes, neighbors. I mean, YouTuber. Very serious one. Yes. They like walking with the dogs. They think what? Nobody more serious than them? Of course they're wrong. Uh, they're wrong. I'm right. Okay, students. Hope you enjoy your summer camp classes. <laughs> Next week we're gonna have another band. You're not gonna guess. Mm -hmm. But maybe your wife gonna guess. I will call her.